Hey friends, it's Jennifer here. Have you ever wished that you had a full year of activities at your fingertips? I did. When I was in the classroom, I knew that my students were struggling and I knew that I wanted to give them highly engaging and interactive activities that they could work on in small groups during math workshop time. And you know what? That's the dream that I have made a reality. I sat down and I looked through my standards and I created a concept based activity set that covers all of your concepts for sixth grade and is delivered over a course of 24 weekly units. Now you may be thinking, we have more than 24 weeks in the school year. Well, each of these weekly units includes eight different activities over all of the different concepts that I'm covering. Some weeks you may only need four activities. Some weeks you may use all eight activities. And some weeks you may not get to any of them because of other things that are going on in your classroom. And that's perfectly fine. Now, what does this include? Well, each of the activity bundles starts with the concept maps. And the concept maps simply show you the guide of what is available and what is being taught each week. And then there is a start here packet. This start here packet is your guide as a teacher that you need to look at first. It tells you what is being covered in the week. It tells you the standards that it relates to. It includes labels for you to put on your activity binders, pockets, folders, boxes, whatever you're going to use. They do, they are labeled with the teaks and without, for those of you that are not Texas teachers. And then there is a teacher instruction page for each individual activity. It goes through the materials that are included for the activity, the preparation that you need to do ahead of time. And let me tell you, these activities are low prep because I'm all about the low prep. And it talks about the answer key if there is any. It also throughout will give you teacher tips if needed. Things like alternative ways to set it up, how to create a digital portfolio of answer keys so you're not having to waste paper all the time. And also it includes pictures of these activities actually in action. Now, that's just the teacher component. For the student component, it has direction cards that are two per page, easy for you to print out, and they're in black and white. I didn't want you to have to waste color ink or find a color printer on your campus. I wanted you to be able to easily copy and print these. Cards are done all in black and white as well. This is an order up game. Kids are using these cards, drawing from a pile. They're ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. And on the back, to make it that much easier, is the answers. So they pull the card up and they're able to check their answers immediately. Here's the game board for that one. And all you need are a couple little counters for your game pieces. Simple as that. And a couple dice to be able to roll for spaces. Now, I bet you're wondering if there's a free activity that you can try out. And there is. The free activity that I have for you to try out is called Rolling Multiples. And this activity actually has four different versions within it. The reason it has four different versions is because when I was using this with a set of teachers recently, they gave me some great ideas to add to it. So the original sheet is just like this. It of course comes with the directions as well. You get to determine if your students are gonna use two six-sided dies, one 10-sided die, or one 12 or even 20-sided die. It's totally versatile. Your students are rolling, they're writing their numbers, and they're finding the multiples. That was the sole purpose. Because I'm gonna tell you, even my seventh and eighth graders struggled with multiplication. So this is a good activity for any grade level. Now, some of the feedback was, well, my students are gonna forget what they're multiplying in each column. 
guess what? I added that at the top. And then there were some teachers that are like, well, I really would like them to go all the way to 12. Another creation was formed. This is the blank one. And this is the one that allows you to multiply all the way to 12. And again, all you need for that is either two six-sided die, a 10-sided die, or a 12-sided die. This action happens to be a 20-sided die, which could be really fun. So, are you ready to take a journey with me and check out this math middle school workshop bundle? Why not? Check out the information below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. I hope to hear from you soon.